Welcome everybody back to MD1 videos. So hopefully you are on YouTube watching this video. Um, we are MD1, the largest group of physician pre-hospital responders in the entire United States. So again, if you don't know, we are a volunteer organization. So we do not charge any patient hospital healthcare system and we have full operating room and emergency department on wheels. So we are getting back to COVID and talking about some new research studies. So I've gotten lots of emails to talk about this study. Let me just look away and read you the title. Outcomes of hydroxychloroquine usage in the United States veterans hospitalized with COVID-19. So if you remember a few weeks ago, I guess it is now, we reviewed the French study on COVID-19, which talked about the benefits of putting people on this drug called HCQ, which got several different names. The common name is Plaquenil. We call it for short, sometimes HQ, sometimes HCQ, sometimes just hydroxychloroquine. And it compared that HCQ with Zithromax, and then it looked at people who got no treatment whatsoever. But let's talk about this study, because this was an interesting study, and this is a retrospective analysis done in the United States on all veterans hospitals. So it looked at data in the past, not necessarily going into the future. And this looked at a total of 368 patients. This study looked at three groups. Three groups were people who got the Plaquenil by itself, HCQ, or it went ahead and it got the HCQ plus Zithromax, also known as the ZPAC, or the people got nothing at all. United States study, funded in the United States by the NIH, and it was a study done retrospectively on all United States veterans hospitals. The outcomes were really simple. Either they looked at mortality, so the death, or looked at ventilation, in other words, the number of people who put on ventilators. And somewhat to our surprise, the study actually found the lowest mortality to be in patients who got no treatment, no drug treatment whatsoever was the lowest mortality. And it was pretty statistically significant. In fact, the mortality of people who got no treatment was 11%, while the mortality of people who got HCQ or Plaquenil was double that, 27%, or more than double it. Second was the ventilation. Ventilation was another interesting group. And indeed, there was no difference by, b between people who got put on ventilators who were on HCQ versus HCQ Plaquenil with Zithromax or no treatment whatsoever. This was done on only COVID positive patients, and again, all across the United States. The general recommendation from the authors in this paper is that any use of these medications should be done extremely cautiously at this point in the United States. So we really don't have great evidence that these drugs are helping people with COVID-19. In fact, it's quite possible based upon this study that mortality from COVID-19 is increased by utilization of these drugs.